been mortified, fortified, fitting like a motor car. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize, perpetuating war. Tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood lines, my niggas doing dope lines. I'm running to the cops, that's a bitch. Exercise, uh, the running to the cops, that's the motto. I don't see it coming to an end like Legato. Get chipped like Sakato, send a wave through the hood, now it's sounding like Verado. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to die shells before I land in our tomato. Here we are, on site. Random abandoned building. There's a bit of graffiti and everything on a garage door around the corner anyway. We've had rain overnight. Perfect opportunity just to come in. We'll spray it out. That way, if it does run, or if there is any dramas, that's going to be going on to grass. We did have another spot hooked up, wind up, from the Newcastle City Council but yeah that's abandoned just because of all the rain that we've got so um, we'll do what we can here anyways we'll just show you how this um, Graco quick shot goes yeah you've all been asking does it pump pressure is it built to last we'll put it to the test today peeps let's do it Quickly also, what we do get, I'll open her up. You get the belt, attach her straight on. Then also, you can just work it with the handle as well. A lot of the time I just run with it with the handle, whatever you prefer. I'll put this down. And then we do have a selection of, we have the new LP. Rack X switch tips and hey look at this the Rack X FFLP 408 but yeah just quickly not that one these come in I think you've got about 30 different size selections also with the new LPs stand me from corrected but and I like how they've put it on the side now there as well because a lot of the time these get covered in paint and especially on the bottom it's usually marked on the bottom as well but now they've instead of marking it on the bottom they're putting it down running it down the sides like this and really it does make sense 100% so these are all the new ones as you can see um, but yeah even, even still the new ones some do some don't but then also what you do get in your pack you get your 100 mesh and your 60 mesh filled up you get a little cute bottle of your pump armor which is always good um, i know a lot of people ask me as well is pump armor needed yes it is because it keeps everything sealed up lubricated and yeah stops it from um, drying out you know depending where you are as well it's it acts more like an antifreeze also then just the instruction manuals and what I really like about these two, nice laminated A4 bit of cardboard that's, yeah, waterproof. It's got everything you need to know, everything ready to go. And most importantly, custom PBJ paint or dice. So with this as well, you got your dial on this. So this goes up to 2000 PSI. So starting at one, two, so each each number equals pretty much 200 PSI. This is electronic spray as well, so it's eliminating spitting, which we all know sometimes can really affect our finish. So I did I did do, do a little custom one here, TVJ here. I think the boys, my little fella, has gone over and put as many on everywhere but hey that's that's pretty cool also what I like to do the counterweight the paint well, I always like to run the bigger 18 flexi volts so when you've loaded up connect it straight on there sit it on your on your belt or just handheld carry whatever you prefer you've got an option And then what you do as well, you just hook it on the side, like that. Dude, we're just gonna load it up here, jump the fence, uh, we get straight into it. Come on. Rayco, 
first one I'm wearing because I didn't want to ruin it. But Jake can promise me that he can get me another one, so... It's now on the fill. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, right, that's why I, I, I never done it. said that, bro. <laughs> I never. We just said 95% chance. All right, so there's some pretty good odds. Also, you want it, you want it pretty tight, but you don't want to tighten it up straight away because you've got to put your little drought slides in and under and around. So now you just, we're out of the way, right hand, left hand side of the back, front, whatever you prefer, we're all different. Be nice if it was probably white, so it matches in. But hey, it's all good. And yeah, you know, depending who you are, they obviously make a fork, a 250 kilo person, sprayer or a 65 kilo little whippet like myself. Nearly 65 kilo. Yeah. Far out. I have got the strength of a, a bull. But yeah, see, see as well what you can do, you can just tuck it under and just double it up as well if you like, like that. You got a little, just push button here. Just give it a bit of a twist out. As you can see, you got your little knobby things on the sides whatever you want to call it. It already does come with a 60 mesh filter inside, which is good. And like I said, you do have the 100 mesh um, that comes with it also. You just make sure it doesn't go this way. It sits up, but so you hold it, pop it straight in. All right, now what we do, just whack her on. As you see there, where it's got your little grooves on each side, that's where you this. Clicks in, nice little sound, I like that. I could probably just do that again for you all. Listen to this. Oh yeah, love it. All right, we can pretty much load it up now. Um, we've got the battery in, we've got the tip guard, and the tip. We're using the FFFLP514 on this one. We'll blow out a nice quick garage door. And we'll take this around and show you what we're doing. as well I know it's not the biggest of pots but it does go a long way so I've, I've, I've noticed you know to spray ceilings walls woodwork in an average size room you're only filling up the pot say maybe three times so it doesn't really pump through the paint but it seems like you get a lot of workload done with it it goes a long way like I said anyway here we go just another important thing as well you always want to leave this open when you are spraying, otherwise won't prime. Okay, so this is pretty much for storage. Or you got it sitting here for a couple of hours, a couple of minutes, whatever it is. Just pop this on. Um, that way it's eliminating any air coming into the cup and drying out. So that way, you know, just put the lid on, screw it on, make sure it's you know, don't have to be really tight. I'm just gonna pop the lid on now until we get over to the job. So that way you're not getting anything coming through. And another thing too that I've found when I like using ink, I like to do it back to front. So depending on who you are, what you, whatever job you're doing, sometimes the leak can be a bit too much. So for me, if I'm having it back like this and I'm only just using it, I don't have to you know, get a big stretch with my cord. I'll just sit it backwards, just load it on now. You can see here, just clips on the side. Let's do that again as well. Cause that's just, listen, listen. And with these, instead of pushing in, they've made it really easy where you can just pop it like that and it comes straight out. And like I said, it counteracts the weight using full pot of paint with your 18 volt flexi. I, I like to have it just wrap it around this side and I just have it going through here. And that way, I'm ready to go.
treasure. Got these ears. possibilities are endless with this thing you can have it loaded up anywhere just hook it onto your belt open your door walk out and start painting no power and i've noticed as well running the 18 volt slash 50 volt flexi d volt you can pretty much spray fill for you know three hours continuous and i've noticed i've thrashed this thing for days and days on end um, I've blown out full interiors because I just wanted to put it through its paces to see what it can do. Um, and yeah, I was one battery, I had two bars down, and I was off and on spraying for about six hours. So one battery is going to last, you know, a fair bit of time and do what you need to do. But then, you know, have, have a couple of spare batteries with you and as much pain, you can just go all day. Spray all day, sleep all night. But when you fill it up, and you just cover like this, this is called fill and chill, all right? If you need a bit of that chill time, pop on the cart, go have some lunch, do a bit of a dinner, whatever you want to do. All right, what we'll quickly do, use a bit of a rundown, even though it says on the side, it's the opposite on these ones. So the four where your prime, or your spray was down, um, and your prime was on your side. Now it's the other way around. Prime up and your spray down. First off, what we want to do, got it, flick it in prime position. Okay. Always take out the tip first. Make sure you just have to hand tight these as well. All right. There is no off and on switch. So pretty much, as soon as you've got it on, you're ready to go. You got your, your lock on here as well, so it will stop it from spraying. That's really a limb. That this is pretty much your off and on switch here. So what we do, get your paint buck. Open your cap up. So you always will get when you when you put it to prime, not all the time, but you will get sometimes a bit of paint coming out the end. Um, that's that's common. All right. So now all primed. We're gonna flick it to spray. We'll just shoot a bit bit in the bucket. I always when I'm starting off, I always just have it on ten. Pumps are through. Primes are faster. We're ready to go. And you can just dial it down to whatever you need. With the weather shield, I was noticing probably sitting on about, you know, a seven. I'd probably equal out to probably about a uh, 1400, 1500 PSI. And that's perfect for, especially garage door with the FFLP 514 tip I'm running. But all depended on what you're spraying, what tip you're using, what material get in. Even if it's a bit of paper like this, just eliminate give it a bit of a spray you can see how it's spraying and then yeah dial it in and then ready to go yo but here we are let's load it up and let's do it all right what i'm going to quickly do i'm going to give you a bit of a rundown as well Instead of having to take time out, stop, fill up, reprime, everything like that, I always just double check it every, you know. 
So what I'll do now, instead of having to worry about going through that whole process again, what a deal. Top it up. Put your lid back on and you're ready to keep going. That way there's no downtime. <laughs>